Hi guys, I'm Mark, a scuba diving instructor from Safe Diving. And I'm Mark Evans, editor-in-chief of Scuba Diver Magazine. So in this series of videos, we're going to be taking a closer look at an entire range of the newest scuba diving equipment. And all of these videos are sponsored by Mike's Dive Store, the UK's largest scuba diving retailer. And they hold most of these items in stock at all times. They're also doing their bit for sustainability by moving to eco-friendly packaging. And they also donate 1% of all their online profits to the marine conservation charity Sea Changes. So let's jump straight in. Hi, and today we've got the Aqualung Omni BCD. Now it might not look like much at the moment, but just bear with us, some assembly required as a certain TV channel for children used to say. <laughs> so yeah, so the main benefit of the Omni is that it actually comes in lots of different parts. So you can pretty much build almost a, a custom made BCD for your body shape and size. You can also customize it as well because it comes in lots of different color kits and everything. So the main mechanism is this mod lock, which you can see Mark using here, and you can get different size shoulder straps. Uh, you can get different sized waistbands, so different uh, size back plates, and everything is small, medium, and large. So depending on your body shape, you can literally build a BCD that fits you perfectly, as well as adapting color kits. So we've done the shoulder straps and we've done the waistbands. They're the quick, easy ones. Now we put the bladder on. So as this goes on, you have to line up a bunch of the straps. And um, this is pretty easy. And realistically, you're only going to be doing this once. And, um, and this just kind of means that one, that it's modular, so as I said earlier, you can build it to your own specifications, but also if you sort of start off with the uh, with the Omni as a jacket style BCD, but then you feel like you want to move on to a wing style BCD, you can actually swap out this bladder for Aqualung's Rogue bladder as well. Um, so yeah, so there's lots of little bits that need uh, sort of attaching and uh, sort of fitting together, but if I help out, it'll go a little bit faster. Faster. So all of it can be assembled without any tools, um, you don't really need anything. Um, if you're disassembling it, you can do it with a teaspoon, um, because in those mod locks all you have to do is push down a little lever and that way you can disassemble it. You can take the, uh, the shoulder straps off, if it's sort of worn or if it's torn, you can take that one section off and replace it with a brand new one. It also means that uh, if you're diving with a buddy and they have uh, sort of one particular colour kit and you kind of want to mix and match, yeah, it's all interchangeable so you can sort of swap and change at the drop of a hat. Okay, so now that the wing is almost fitted, we just got to attach the, um, the, sort of the bladder of the jacket that goes around onto the waistband, then we can move on to the colour kit because you kind of buy this all as one thing and you get all of these separate parts as uh, sort of separate items as it were. So these straps that I'm putting on here are just to keep it all nice and neat and tidy. It holds the, uh, the bladder tight to the side, as well as the mod lock clips that Mark already talked about. And as he said, you're only going to be doing this once. <laughs> there we go. Right, colour kit. Okay, so in the colour kit, you've got a few bits and bobs. The main important thing is going to be in your integrated weight systems. You get a different coloured handle, but you also get a hose retainer. Uh, you get a few pouches. Uh, this is a console uh, sort of pouch and octo pockets. Uh, you get your chest strap. You get all the zipper pulls. So these are all individually coloured. So this one is obviously the blue colour kit. Um, and as you can see, all the accents and all the little bits and bobs, these are accented in blue. Uh, but again, if you want to customise it even further, you just get your buddy who has the yellow version and then you can really mix and match. So Shawlock 2 weight pouch just clips into place nice and easily. And, um, and then with the, uh, the back pad, 
So this is gonna, uh, we're gonna put that on after we flip it over. This is a nice uh, sort of thick mesh back pad. That's almost like half an inch thick, and it's this mesh material, so it's got lots of cushioning, so it's really comfortable on your back, but it also dries out really quickly. So between dives, uh, it's nice and comfortable when you're not putting on a wet BCD for your second dive. So Mark's just putting on the zipper pulls. They go on really quickly. Um, and then we have a few optional bits um, that you can sort of fit onto it. You turn it over. Okay, so I'm just gonna fit the back pad. Uh, so this has Velcro that lines up with Velcro on the actual BCD, and this little tail of Velcro that goes underneath. So if I stick that in first, and then tuck it in underneath, and now you have a blue back pad. Um, we also have little pockets. So this is a console pocket, so that will go on your left-hand side, um, but these are gonna line up with the grommets that are just here on the uh, on the BCD. You get these two um, little sort of screws. We're not gonna attach them here, but, uh, but they line up with those grommets down at the bottom, and that just sits in there. <laughs> As we mentioned, it's a modular BCD, so each of these parts are customizable. So if you're tall and thin, you can get a large back plate, but a small waistband. So you can really build the BCD that's comfortable for you. And if you have a certain color scheme, then again, all of these little accents you can change. Um, so yeah, if we take an overall sort of look at the, uh, the BCD, so it's a jacket style BCD, so you get this wraparound comfort. Um, over the left hand shoulder, we have our corrugated inflator hose. Uh, this has got the deflate button in this green, uh, gray button there. Uh, you also have the, uh, the purge valve down at the bottom and the oral inflation valve. But if you grab hold of that entire thing and pull that down over your left hand shoulder, there's a stainless steel cable on the inside of that, and that's gonna open up the valve over your left hand shoulder. Moving across to the right hand side, uh, we've got the uh, the shoulder strap it comes down to a metal D-ring. This is stainless steel. It's pre-bent, so it just lifts the bottom away from that shoulder strap just a little bit, which makes it much easier to clip off onto it. And right next to it, you can see the, uh, the dump valve. So pull on this toggle, and that's gonna open up the shoulder dump valve on your right hand side. Kept together with a um, elasticated one-way adjustable chest strap. Um, so that gives you a little bit of leeway um, just so you're nice and comfortable, you don't feel too contained, but it does hold those shoulder straps in position. The, the pocket, as we said, now that you've got the colour-coded uh, tags on, uh, it opens both ways. Uh, so whichever way you find it the easiest to access the pocket. Um, these are actually a decent sized pocket for getting things like the SMBs, reels, backup torch, etc. in there. And because the weight system is not integral into the bladder, you actually get plenty of room in that pocket and it's not interrupted in any way, shape or form. Um, the uh, wing system uh, that goes around the back, as well as it being a wraparound uh, traditional style BCD, it's actually got these like little wings out the back, which is reminiscent of the Diva LX uh, women's BCD they did, um, which kind of gives you a little bit of stability when you're in a nice horizontal um, diving position, but then when you're on the surface, you've got the, the flotation coming around your body and giving you a hug. Um, it's also got what Aqualung call their rapture system, uh, which is just, it spreads the weight across uh, your like, lumbar region and lower back, so that when you're walking around on the surface, uh, it helps dis you know, just dispatch some of that weight around your body um, for added comfort. Okay, so starting up at the top of the uh, of the back, uh, we have our corrugated hose. So if you pull down over uh, your inflator, this is where the air is gonna vent out from. You also have an overpressure valve on your right hand shoulder. Uh, this is where that little uh, sort of toggle attaches. These are nice and low profile. So if you're swimming in and out of wrecks uh, or sort of overhead environments, they're really low profile, so they're not gonna get caught on anything. Moving down, we have a grab handle, so you can grab hold of that. That's got a pinch click adjustment, um, but I like to wrap that around the, uh, the tank valve of my cylinder. Just acts as a bit of a redundant backup for the cylinder for the actual cam band. Uh, 
The Kanban itself is Aqualun's Griplock Kanban. So this is a two-part metal buckle. So all you do is you adjust the length of the, uh, of the Kanban with this Velcro here to the size of your cylinder. And then once you've got that set up, you wrap it around the cylinder. So it's very quick and easy compared to a traditional Kanban. And then when you close it, you'll notice it stops just periodically, just there, and that basically gives you time to get your fingers out from underneath it, make sure everything's clear, and then you push it down and that locks it in position. That's why it's called the finger saver. So really quick and easy to um, sort of take on and off of a, uh, of a dive cylinder, and then down on your right hand kidney you have another dump. Uh, again, it's a, uh, it's a low profile one and you just got that little toggle, so if you're horizontal in the water you can pull on that, or if you're inverted to so the head down you can pull on that and you can still vent gas. Okay, so this is the Aqualung Omni BCD, a jacket style BCD, a very modular BCD, so you can really get the correct size and you can travel with it really easily because it's not particularly heavy for a jacket style BCD. But for a full range of BCDs or if you want to get yourself sort of sized up for an Omni to make sure that you get the perfect size, you can visit mikesdivestore.com or you can visit them in their London store. Remember, if you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, and you'll never miss out on any future episodes.